All right, guys, so today we're gonna try and make a little experiment here. So what you have here is what it looks like to plant really, really a lot of uh, winter crops or winter forest stuff here. So as you can see, I have a huge amount of those. Uh, those fields are, uh, I have 768 seeds here, which is what I need to replant those things. So that's exactly what I'm going to do here. As you can see, I'm not using any uh, fertilizers here. So with this thing here, uh, we should be able to create more seeds and still sell uh, the, the high quality ones. Uh, you, can, you guys also can see that I am level uh, 10 forage. So this will obviously affect uh, that things are harvest here and of course i have to to fix the field here because those crops will destroy the the soil here and then we will be able to see how much money we are going to make out of this and maybe after this we can make some tests uh, using the fertilizer just to see uh, what comes out of it and also those things grow every nine days without any uh, speed grow or anything like that so yeah let me just try to harvest everything here and I will be right back with you. Okay, it took me all day long to harvest everything and replant. And this is what the fields look like. And also uh, this is what you get after harvesting 768 of those kinds of items. So now I'm going to craft uh, the seeds so I can replant it and have three harvests uh, during the year. And also we're going to check uh, how much money we can make out of the, these gold items here. Using only the known uh, star items, I was able to craft 380. Uh, and with 384, I would be able to harvest an entire, um, an entire field. So now we're going to have to use some of the silver quality ones to make the rest. And well, well, I, I crafted more than enough, but this is it, guys. This is it. This is what you need. So now let's just uh, check how much money we can make uh, with the rest of those. Let's just check everything here. And this is all money. All right, so this is what we make after sleeping through the night. So, and this is the the break of the stinks and let's see uh, I think as expected <laughs> the crystal fruits going to to get us a lot of money but I wouldn't recommend saying uh, selling all that stuff maybe sell the gold ones but at least use the silver ones uh, with uh, the preserves jar or maybe kegs because those uh, probably are going to get you a lot of uh, extra money so crystal fruits is the thing to go but the snow yam is really good it's really good not too shabby and well we're able to to make over eighty-three thousand gold out of this so this is pretty great and more than i expected to make uh during the winter with crops it's day 16 now and almost every crop is done okay time to harvest everything and hopefully be able to fertilize everything as well and then replant everything. I don't know if I am going to be able to, to do everything today, but we are for sure going to try. Okay, it took me a long time to replant everything plus the fertilizer. So I really recommend using the fertilizer before the first harvest. Uh, this would be would make things very much easier. And this is what I've got after harvesting uh, both fields and also crafting the seeds. So all that we have to do now is to sell everything again and see how much we make. So let's just go ahead and sleep and see what tomorrow can get us. Okay, I have this extra. <laughs> All right, so this time we got 80,000. So last time we got around 83,000, if I'm not wrong. And once again, you can see the breakdown here. And well, let's wait for the last harvest with the fertilizer and see how this goes. And once again, it's time to harvest uh, everything. So 
uh, I was expecting this to happen at day 26, but apparently I was wrong. So this is going to be our last um, harvest of the winter. And well, let's see where this goes. All right, guys, so I'm done. And this is how my empty fields look like. And this is what I collected. So, uh, well, this much. And well, those are my plans now. I'm going to sell all the silver and gold quality crops. And then I will keep these ones because I can earn more money by, by having those crystal fruits in my kegs or in my preserve jars. Um, I can use the snow yams for uh, energy if I plan on uh, fishing during the winter or going to the caves. I can also use those as gifts. Um, a lot of uh, villagers will accept uh, the crocus or the crocus eye <laughs> as gifts. Um, they really like it. And those guys, the winter roots, they can be combined uh, with uh, the, the other thing, the, 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 the root from the caves, the carrot, carrot something from the caves. And then we can make the roots platter, which will give me 125 energy plus 50 health plus three uh, combat strengths that I can also use um, in the caves. And of course, I still have my 768 to, uh, seeds to replant everything next year. And of course, I have a few extra seeds, so it's going to be a little bit cheaper. So uh, to finish things up, let's just sell everything here. Keep the ones I told you, uh, I told you before and see how much we earn from that. Okay, it's almost uh, 100,000 gold, so 96, uh, it's about 20% plus uh, with the fertilizer, which is uh, expected. So yeah, guys, I definitely recommend this uh, if you want. So I earned about 250,000 gold during the winter just doing this, and it's not even a lot of work. You just have to wait 80 days, eight days, I mean, and then harvest the crops uh, three times during winter, which is really worth it. And you end up with a bunch of other stuff that can make you even more money and gifts and food and energy and all the good thing, all the good stuff, guys. So uh, this was Cass with the Mizuma Games channel. If you liked this video, please hit the like button and maybe subscribe for more. So thank you very much for watching, guys. See you around. Bye bye.